me, take on me, take. Oh God, I hope nobody watches this. Um, here I'm going to be walking you guys through the latest upload studio changes. So Microsoft just recently uh, updated their upload studio functionality, and it's actually pretty impressive now. Uh, it's not the pain in the ass thing it was previously. Um, what you've got now is a whole bunch of different templates that they now offer you to start from. So here is uh, just some top five templates here. So it's going to give you countdowns for clips so you can show your top five clips of, let's say, Minecraft or Call of Duty or Forza. I'm assuming they're going to roll out with more of these as they uh, develop this. But here you've got some additional templates here of just different things, and I'll get into those in a second. But if you go all the way over to the right, you've got a whole bunch of templates that you can choose from. Basically, you can incorporate multiple templates within uh, one set of clips that you're putting together. So it's really uh, all about you compiling something more or less like a YouTube video that you'd see online. So here, uh, I can either record a new clip from here or I can manage my existing clips. So here's one where I was just playing around. Um, <clears throat> One thing that they haven't changed is that it is still a bit slow with all this. So here, um, I'll just find something here. I think this is a clip of me killing a few guys with the uh, rail gun in Battlefield. So I've got a clip selected, or I got multiple uh, clips selected. Uh, I'm just gonna edit this one in Upload Studio. So uh, here what you can do is you have the ability to come in and add new things. So at the beginning of this clip or at the back of the clip here, so I can, let's say at the beginning, I wanted to add something in. So here I can say, uh, is it a transition? Is it an intro? Is it an outro? Um, do I want to record something on Connect? Is it a video and Connect? Uh, so it's, it's a lot of functionality here. So I'll say an intro. Um, <clears throat> and then I can choose the effect that I want. So here's a whole bunch of different effects for the intros. So they've got, oh, again, a bunch of different templates that you can select from here. So more or less a Minecraft one. Here's Sunset Overdrive, Cinematic, Blurred Line. They've got some generic ones. They've got some game-centric ones. A Matrix type one here. Uh, an Xbox. So... Again, they're all, <laughs> not, not, stop listening, Xbox. <laughs> um, and you can apply these wherever you want in the video. So here, I'll, uh, I'll just use this one here, the default. And then um, I can add some text over this as well. So I could say uh, maybe the title of the video. I'll just type in my username here. Not sure how this is gonna look, but we'll see. Uh, at any point in time, you can hit X to play, so you can see what you've uploaded here. So here, you see it's uploading over this. Um, oops, no, I don't want to cancel. I do want to stop this, though. Um, and now maybe I want to add, uh, after the clip is over, I want to add another transition. So here I can change the type. And um, maybe I want an outro video here. And I'm going to edit which one I want to use. And again, it gives you a whole bunch of different ones here to use. So maybe I want to use the official Xbox one here. So uh, I'll just put in this again. Sorry, this is a little bland and vanilla, but you get the idea of uh, what you can do with it, I, I believe. It just actually made it a lot nicer to work with. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could come in here and maybe I wanted to add another clip into this, which is nice. So here I could add another clip from my library. Uh, again, it's, uh, since a lot of it's being up, stored up on the cloud, it takes a minute for it to pull it down sometimes. Uh, I don't honestly don't know what all the clips are. I haven't been doing a very good job of cleaning up my library of clips. Uh, maybe I'll just add in this one as well. I have no idea what the clip is. Um, but maybe I want to add in a transition again, maybe uh, a splash. I'm not sure what the splash is actually. Let's take a look at this. Oh, okay. 
So here, you can put in your uh, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, all the different options. So here is a Halo, one, two, three, four, five, Minecraft. There's Call of Duty, Sunset Overdrive. Uh, nice, and they've added some generic ones. So upload studio ones as well. So you'll see here they're reusing a lot of the th same things over again. Oh, that's actually pretty nice looking. Gamer TV. This is actually, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly impressed with the with the changes that they've done with this. So um, maybe I'll just add that here. I'm not going to add any text to it, though. Um, but yeah, so here I can play the whole thing. And then send it out. Oh, you know what? It's not going to put in my gamer tag pick, huh? Since I don't have a, uh, I have an avatar screen capture. I'm wondering why it's not going to put all those up. Anyways, so you get the idea here. So it's going to, it allows you to really, you can still come in here and I can edit the clips as well. If I need to trim anything, I can come in and do that. Um, as well as uh, come in and edit anything that I want. So after you're done, I can come in here and say finish and it's going to then populate this, add my tags to it and then say where I want it to upload to. So there it is. I mean, again, that's it's pretty straightforward and basic, but it's they've added a lot more functionality to this. Uh, highly recommend you check it out. If you haven't checked out the upload studio functionality before, or if you haven't checked it out in a while, make sure to check out the latest update because it is actually pretty powerful. All right, thanks again for watching, guys, and hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.